you know, drawing on my own experience with the Wikipedia, um, with working with Wikipedia, one of the first questions that I would ask, and speaking here as a South African, somebody based on the continent, and somebody very involved in, by my work with Chimarenga magazine, very involved in questions around um, Africa and, and this place, the place I, that I work from, the first thing that comes up is, of course, that, that there's not necessarily a shared view of what knowledge is, that knowledge is itself um, determined by, by what is determined as knowledge is very different in very, very in different contexts. So what knowledge is, how it is evaluated and how it is used varies wildly. So the first thing that, that one has to come to is some kind of agreement of what is knowledge and how does it operate within a specific space and what knowledge is actually relevant and meaningful, but also how is that knowledge transferred. And in our experience, of course, we, our biggest challenges with working with Wikipedia was that the way knowledge was shared didn't work within the Wikipedia's um, philosophy of knowledge. So it was very hard in many cases because the other forms of knowledge on the continent, which is um, rumor, which is general knowledge, which is community-based knowledge, and, the, and much of the history or many things are not as well archived. So to be able to supply a long list of written references that one could put in a bibliography is not always um, possible. But does that disqualify it as knowledge, something if if the knowledge has come from people or the knowledge has is, is available in a community, how then does one evaluate that knowledge and measure it against, say, Western knowledge, which has this huge archive to back it up? So that's, that's the very, very first knowledge, question that one has to ask is what is knowledge, how is it understood in different contexts and spaces? And how is it shared, evaluated, and and what makes it knowledge? Um, so I think that that's the first challenging question that needs to be asked. The, the second question is what what is a community? And of course, one of the very difficult things is the question of um, can one create communities? And around what do you need to create communities? And of course, we had the Wiki Africa initiative, which was lots of energy, and I think something of a community was created. But the ability to sustain sustain that community um, was quite fragile. So my question would be, um, you know, when I look now, many of the updates that were made in the kind of hype of Wiki Africa have remained static and are completely out of date and redundant now because people didn't actually long term buy into being Wikipedian. So my question is, and, and interesting in the context of which you're presenting this um, conference, which is that you are in a small town and a group of people have suddenly come around or, uh, together around an event. but well, what are the lasting benefits for the community and what is it that the community benefits by staying involved? So those would be my questions and my, um, and my provocation to, to Wikipedians going forward is that your idea of knowledge might not be my idea of knowledge. I may not have the same ways to evaluate it. And how does one grow a community as big as Wikipedia and sustain a sense of community involvement, especially towards people who are more on the periphery or who have less ease of access to that community. Um, yeah, that's it.